Come on, do better, choir for him. God said, you made the correct set sacrifice of being here at the right time. That's all I hear. Be seated. Second Samuel chapter 9. I got help over there. I heard a yes, sir. That's what I've been looking for. That's my sister. Okay. Beginning at verse 1. And David said, is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul that I may show the kindness, show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? I'm going to go verse by verse and I'm going to ask everybody in row 3 to talk to me because that's where distraction lies. All right. So the first thing I'm going to say from that verse for the 10 who said they would talk to me is God said this year is going to treat you kind, treat you kind. God says, all the kindness you gave out before this year is about to come back to you. All right, now I can go to row four. This year is going to treat you kindly. You don't have to look for kindness. It's looking for you. Now, some of you are quiet because you have not been kind ever. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you want a friend, you must first show yourself friendly. Push me quiet. Y'all be my storefront church. You want to be treated right? You have to treat somebody else well. Marvel not. That I say unto thee, ye must be born again, and also you reap what you sow. That which a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You're about to be treated kind. Verse 2, and there was of the house of Saul a servant whose name was Ziba, some say Ziba, that when uh, they had called unto David, the king said unto him, Art thou Ziba? And he said, Thy servant is he. Verse 3. I thought I had 10, but I've got 2. And the king said, Is there not yet any of the house of Saul that I may shew the kindness of God unto him? And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan hath yet a son. He is lame on his feet. I want to pause at verse 3 to extrapolate from it a few things that I think you need to hear from my five member church. I lost five members to somebody around the corner. And the two things I want to say to talkers, number one is this. God cannot show you kindness if he does not use someone. See? And some of you that continue to say you don't need nobody, you don't trust nobody, you don't care what nobody say, God has no access to you. God does not give you money out the sky. He reaches into someone else's pocket. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Or puts you in someone else's heart and they can't shake you and he makes them do for you what he would do if he was walking on the earth. Please, one person push me harder because I'm almost there and that's this. You better learn to be kind because you're going to be shocked when God puts what you need in who you don't like. Oh, I'm going to church. I don't know how to easily preach, so pray for me. Don't be amazed if your baby daddy's call and pay you for three years back pay without the court. Y'all laughing, but that needs to be done. Don't be shocked if a relative you gave a certain amount of money to finally remember that they owe you this money and pay you with interest. Somebody that's tired of just being Sunday, first Sunday morning ish, and you're ready to get a miracle this year, just shout to God, I want it all back. And some of us might as well get extra happy because I want mines back with interest. Yeah. 
Somebody just remembered the saying last week, one lump sum. But I just, <laughs> I want minds back with interest. God is putting you on someone's heart. And they are going to take out of their abundance and bless you so that you will know God has not forgotten you. And I want to talk to two folk who are radical who need a miracle but don't look like you live in misery. And that is that help might be in your role right now today. All God's got to do is touch the person near you and say, write that check for $5,000 and slip it inconspicuously. Y'all know my, maybe y'all don't believe in that, but when I grew up, you could be shouting and the mother would ease over to your hand and you'd be like... Your miracle is in this house. You just don't know how to summons it. The last thing I want to say about verse 3, then I'll get on the express for my same one member who will push me, is God is going to bless some of us, whoever are the ones that are happy, while we yet have a disability. That went above some folks' head. You're going to get what you're not able to get on your own. You don't have the wherewithal. You don't have the means to do it. If you had it, you would have already achieved it. The truth is, I don't have it all, but I have the desire to have it all. So God says, tell you, because you're not lazy and wish you could do it, your wish is my command. What some of y'all have to do is, oh, no, the only thing that disqualifies you from this miracle is laziness and being unkind. I said this at the last church, so I might as well borrow it now and see if one person pushed me. Church folk, nasty. See, you can say that in AME. Uncircumcised Philistines. They'll take whatever you have to offer and never give you an appropriate thank you. But God said, all of you that have blessed people and didn't get the right response back is coming from God. Y'all need to, and when God does it this time, I'm, be careful I'm, who you socialize with. Y'all mighty quiet over there. That's why I ain't talking. I love y'all, but I get it. That's the side that's all rich. Children went to college, ain't got no bills, ain't sick, taking no medicine. So we want to dispel the Noma for 2019 that you don't have to be perfect to be blessed. Look at somebody tell them, thank God for that. Thank Because some of you sitting there like you are perfect, but we know you. We know you. We know why you don't talk much in church, because when you talk, cuss comes out within three minutes. We See how folk... Look shocked like church folk don't use profanity? Don't take me wrong. I'd rather you get angry and do that than to keep lying. There are some people that lie with a straight face and been lying so long they believe their own story. They 24 and they believe they 35 deep in their heart. I want three people to boldly admit who wants this year to be a year of miracles to admit with me, I don't deserve what's about to come. I desire it, but I know I don't deserve it. The third thing from verse three, we on the express is he's lame if I can just mess with grandma just a little bit, one young person jump, one single woman jump, one man who wants to be wealthy jump, and anybody that's crazy that wants to live three years successfully, you jump. I'm lame. You see my disability, but I'm still on my feet. I'm not lame in my feet. Y'all ain't talking. I'm lame. Oh, y'all look like. Some folk are jealous of you because you don't have half of what they have and still doing better than they do because I'm lame. 
but I'm on my feet. Unemployed, still got a roof over my head. Pronounced sick, but no symptoms. The balcony. I'm still God's chosen vessel. Lean on somebody and tell them there's a table with your name on it. Give up your chair and let whoever want it have it. Because it's not about the seat. It's about the table. God does not prepare seats. Y'all miss, he prepares a table. God does not serve food on chairs. You serve food on tables. And God said, tell 30 of them who will act like they don't hold a special position. By tomorrow morning, which is Monday, I've got a table prepared. Come with the table is spread. And the feast of the Lord is going on. Grab somebody's hand and tell them you may not get excited. But you're about to find out something, neighbor. When I open up my reservation, huh, it said reservation for two. Y'all ain't talk. So tell him I'm looking for somebody that I can take with me to the top. Huh. But if you don't give God glory, huh, I got to leave you right where you are. Huh. Tell somebody else huh, by tomorrow morning. Huh, God is about to open up huh, a window of opportunity huh, that whatever you need, huh, God's about to give it to you. Huh, but don't wait until situations change. Huh, you make up in your mind huh, that I'm going to give God glory now. Huh, I've got the tip in my spirit. Huh, and the tip is when life's troubles huh, come your way. Hold huh, your head up huh, high and say huh, hallelujah. Huh, in the old house. Huh, look at your neighbor and say neighbor. Huh, forget table manners. Huh, look at the matter of your table. Huh, the table is not for quiet people. Huh, the table is not for you to act deep. Huh? The table is for you to know one thing, huh? that if God's about to bless you, huh? you're supposed to look at a neighbor and say, excuse me, huh? and then pull your chair back huh? and do what you've got to do. Huh? Your inabilities, huh? your disabilities huh? have already been covered by the blood. Huh? And being that he didn't kill you huh? for all the wrong you've already done, huh? you are to tell your neighbor, excuse me, huh, while I push this chair back, huh, I owe God glory, huh, and I owe God honor, huh, just grab somebody else, huh, I'm closing now and say, neighbor, have you tried, huh, have you tried Jesus, huh, he's